everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today, we are literally going to get straight to the point, but I wanted to make a quick tutorial video on how to customize and create your own app icons for iOS 16. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it, like put it very straight to the point. I will probably have a tutorial on custom widgets another time, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I'm gonna like sit to the side so I can show you guys the screen here. Of course, with this, I'm going to be using the new iPhone 14 Pro on iOS 16 in case you're wondering like what it is. But basically, there are a couple ways you can do this. First one is to make a picture from Pinterest or find one from Pinterest, any photo you want. And if you just want to look how to get the custom photo you already have chosen, I will have it time stamped so you could skip to that part. But first, I will be showing you how to make custom app icon. Canva is just a super easy app to use. I'm going to be using it on Safari for today's video, but of course you could download the app. First of all, you want to go to this little purple plus icon in the bottom right on the app. And what I like to do is I like to get a square icon since app icons don't necessarily have a set size. They only want it to be like a square, like I recommend using a square. So I'm going to click on Instagram post square, which is 1080 by 1080 pixels. After that, it will give you some templates. But if you are going off of a theme like a wallpaper, I'll show you how to get those pictures. So I click on upload and if you want it to be like aesthetic and match your background i choose my background image and put it on the side here then you could click on the background and choose the color if you scroll down it shows you palette colors and from there you can like match your background which is so much fun and so much easier to kind of have a set palette that matches and you know 100 it's gonna match your background you know so what i like to do is go there and i keep this image on the side just for the working palette colors but then you can click the purple plus icon and go to elements. For example, I'm going to be remaking a custom kind of app design for my messaging app. So I'm going to search message and just search that there. And I personally like to click graphics, which is just like these base graphics and find one that you like. Once you find one that you like, you can change its color. For example, I'm going to go back down to palette colors and choose a light pink or a dark purple. Since I think that would work best, I'm going to go with a light pink and center it. Then you could get rid of that. The image was only there for the palette colors and you can center it. Now here you can either download it directly into your phone or I am just literally going going to screenshot it and then crop out all of the rest of the parts that I don't want. So there we go and save it to your photos. Now after you get that or your Pinterest image, you want to go to the app shortcuts. So search in your phone for the app shortcuts. It is like on every single phone and I don't think it's even possible to uninstall it. So you have it for sure. And then you just want to click that bestie. Once you are here, it is a little bit confusing. Like there are a ton of steps. So I will try to make it as simple as possible. But on the top right, there is a blue plus icon. Just click on that. Then it shows you here. You want to click add action and click scripting in the top left corner. Once you do that, the first scripting option is what you want open app so click that and next at the very very top I will circle it in editing but there is this like light blue app just click that and it will just let you choose and select the app that you want to change for example me I'm doing messages so I'm going to click messages and you do not want to click done from here you want to click at the very very top there is a drop down arrow click that drop down arrow and choose add to home screen here you could change the name of your app to something you can remember or even something cute. It doesn't have to be messages. It could be whatever you want, Busty. Literally like emojis. Yes, you got that. Then on the left of where you wrote that, there is this little stack purple icon with a blue outline. Click that and choose photo unless you add it saved to your files. You choose the file option, but choose photo. And then you choose the icon that you made or that you already had pre-saved on your phone. So click that and you could crop it accordingly, zoom in, all that fun stuff. You could like zoom out, zoom in, boom. Once you have it zoomed to the correct spot that you want, bear 
in mind that the, you know how apps are kind of like a smooth outline instead of the hard corner turns that this has? There will be a bit of scaling, so just keep that in mind and select choose. Then you could click add and it will bring you to your home screen and voila, that is it. You have the app added and then you could just go back to shortcuts and do this as many, many times as you want. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. As always, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, bye!